Every year in August, there's a festival that happens in Ethiopia called the Ashenda Festival. Now, I want you to look at this footage and I would like you to watch the celebration that they're doing for the women and girls. It has different names depending on where in Ethiopia you are, but there is no doubt that Ashenda or Ashandie is a glorious festival. The annual celebration has been practiced for thousands of years. We have celebrated this festival all our lives, since childhood. It's a reminder of the importance of our culture. Everyone dresses up for the festival. We even say that Ashenda girls' beauty can be bewitching. It's a special day for women. We're free to express ourselves, dress up, perform for people. During the week-long celebrations, girls visit homes and their communities to perform for their neighbors. It's customary for people to give them money. The Ashanda Festival has become popular among tourists as well. I think it's beautiful the way the girls uh, like the hairstyles and the way they dance. This is the first thing that I saw. There's so many designs that we still hear and the beauty things in the hair. And they are close looking at many different colors, uh, very natural styles. That's the first time to see it and very interesting. Ethiopia is hoping UNESCO will include the Ashenda Ashendie on its a list of intangible cultural heritage. We are trying to spread the festival around the world and we want UNESCO to recognize it. When you see a non-Ethiopian trying to copy the cultural dressing, the hairstyle and everything, you know that color and pop are coming together here in the festival. Ethiopia plans to take this cultural festival to the next level by registering it as World's Intangible Heritage by UNESCO. The hope is it will happen. Before we started with the commentary, I want to reach out to our supporters to help us keep the show going. YouTube has cut our revenue by 90%. It definitely takes revenue to run the show. Now, as of right now, we are pushing on Patreon and we have 1635 as the people have joined us on Patreon. We're trying to hit our goal of 3000. I want to thank every last person that has joined us because without you, this show would not be going at all. Now let's talk about the festival. When I seen this footage of the festival, I was just amazed. I was happy to see this and I thought in my mind, I need to bring this to my audience because I believe black women and black girls in this nation need something like that, something that they can celebrate, something that they can enjoy themselves and be in cultural dress. Because in this nation, ever since we came here, we were stripped of our culture, stripped of our languages, stripped of our names, our traditions, religion. And that is why most of the time black people are lost because they don't know who they are. And when they find out who they really are, you really can't mess with them. And their mindset is different. And what I seen in this piece, they also said they want this to spread worldwide, but don't think I have against that notion is that I would like that to spread to the black women here in America and black women all over the world, because this is something that they need because other cultures can have their things, but we need to have something for ourselves. And I would love to have my kids and family to participate in a festival like that every year. I wouldn't mind paying for that, the hair and the dresses and everything. I mean, I want to show some pictures on the screen here. Now, as you look at these pictures of how the dresses look, now notice with the dresses, they're not whorish. They're not showing a bunch of skin. The colors are beautiful on the clothes. I mean, it's just us all the way and who we are. 
And as you can see that it's something that's celebrated. People love to do this. And I really believe that this is something that the sisters should try to recreate and make a push for here in the United States of America. The only issue I would see with that though, just one issue that is like y'all literally have to do that in secret because if you try to promote that and push that, then you already know who gonna try to come in and um, infiltrate it and try to take over and co-op your stuff. That's the only issue we have here in America. But outside of that, I still believe that black women and black girls need something like that. Um, it was just like I say, very beautiful to see. And this is why we all need to make a trip to African nations and get your passport. It's not so expensive. Get a passport, you know, save your money. Instead of income tax balling, why don't you take a trip to an African nation? Because every black person in America, we need to do that. Some of you have an issue with Africa, I know, because I've heard some people say, well, they don't reach out to us and you don't reach out to them. So nobody's talking at that point. Somebody has to start the conversation. And what I always want to do, at least with our platform, is be a bridge if we can to Africa and they can come here and speak with us and we can speak with them and heal those misconceptions to understand the issues that we have with each other wasn't originated by us. It was originated by the supplanter of everybody. And you know who that supplanter is. Wanted to divide and conquer. Cause that's the only way he got into Africa is dividing and conquering our ancestors because I just read a quote from one of them the other day that said to the British parliament that Africa was rich. No one was unhappy. They were very spiritual. And the only way they can get in there, unless they break all that up and they want to dominate and conquer the land. So prior to them people coming there, we didn't need nothing. Africa to this day is still the richest continent in the world with all the resources that are there. So we need to get back into learning African traditions, going back to our African culture, because in the fifties we had our African culture. It's when we got away from our community with desegregation, we started taking on other people's culture and it's been so destructive on our community and the evidence is there prior to getting around other groups of people. You know, the main people that you look want to go around so much. We didn't have these issues and problems. So let's focus more on African culture, find out who we really are, learn these traditions, learn these festivals and try to do them here because we, we need that, you know, male and female. We just need to start doing that um, because I know there's every person that really find out who they really are. It's really no self hate issues with them. They don't have a, loathing for black people. They're just happy. And you'll find out some of the same feelings that you have over here, you'll notice they have over there as well. But how would you know unless you start talking to them or going over there? So make sure you check that out. You know, sisters try to recreate that. You know, I'll be the biggest proponent of you doing that. I'll help you promote it. Whatever you need to do, if you're going to recreate that, because, um, I think that's just a beautiful thing what they're doing over there. But leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this. Share the video, like the commentary, and subscribe for my news stories.